All right, everybody, this is Jeff out in Hawaii. I've uh, been having some issues trying to find this on uh, YouTube, but what I'm doing is I've got a 30 gallon natural gas water heater and um, replacing the control. But what was going on was that the water wasn't heating up to a specific temperature, and I kept having to. Sorry about the video here, guys. I had to keep turning the dial up, I had to keep going hotter and hotter and hotter and harder, hotter. Um, in order for the thermostat to kick on. And I knew the control was good because a pilot light would stay lit. As you can see, this is an older control. And if you look at this probe, I'm draining it right now because what I found out was that lime was caked all on the, uh, the temperature probe. So what it was doing was insulating the heat from getting to this probe. And I've kind of taken some of this off with my finger. Sorry, because it's wet. But while it was in there, see, I could probably put this back in after cleaning this off and it would probably work again um, but just because of the age of the control these are about a hundred bucks I found this for a hundred bucks from a plumbing supply place online uh, I'd rather replace a control for a hundred bucks rather than replace a whole water heater for 300 or, or more just because the water's not getting hot enough um, it's very simple to do very easy to do so uh, what I've done is I've taken this one out um, this is the old one and then I'm letting the water drain out. I gotta let it drain out. Um, I don't want to put it in wet because I want my uh, my sealant to hold. What I've done is I've used uh, Rector Seal. You pick that up. I got this at Lowe's. It's for like seven bucks. It's a it's a wet seal, and I also use uh, Teflon tape. It's I've been in the gas business. It's been about 15 years since I've done this, but I know that um, if you use both when you go to put wet. Uh, rector seal back in. If you ever have to take this out, um, it's a lot easier to get out even after years and years of service. You can actually pull it out. Just a couple of things when I pulled this old um, control out, if you can see in here, there's really nowhere to put your wrench. And when you unscrew this thing, you got to be very careful. You've got two leads coming out for your thermocouple, and you don't want to damage those regardless if it's the new one or the old one. So what I found was the these bad boys right here. Um, these pliers, these adjustable pliers, I believe these are, I don't know, they got to be a foot or 18 inches long, actually gave me the leverage to, to pull this control out, this old one. Um, same thing once it's set uh, with the, uh, they must have used tape and some sort of a, a liquefied sealant because once you get enough torque on it, you should be able to back it out pretty easy. As you can tell, this control's getting bad. You can see this discoloration here, that's actually... Uh, the heavy ends from the natural gas that's seeping through so this control that's why I wanted to replace it regardless if I could fix the temperature issue or not because eventually this would have started leaking but uh, controls are identical um, like I said this one here I found online for 95 bucks I live in Hawaii they shipped it to me ex uh, express um, I think it was Wendell or Webel so plumbing supply or something like that online so I got it shipped to me for about hundred and five dollars and that was expedited shipping so Next, I'll, uh, I'll take a picture of this thing. I'll actually show you the burner assembly because I'm going to clean that up too. Uh, we got 30 gallons to drain out of here and I'm just going to let it drain. Thanks.